Who are the people who've made Australia their home? Why have they come? Meet people from many backgrounds. Investigate their origins. Explore our immigration timeline. Uncover intimate details of hardship and happiness. Become a convict incarcerated on the First Fleet, fighting for your freedom. Join fellow Chinese in Ballarat during the gold rush. You'll soon regret the day you cross the law. I never knew me father. Me poor old mum, she only loves his gin. The devil gets in her if she don't get enough. She's not as good looking as she once was, she says. And the men don't give her no brass no more. So I stole a bit here and there. Just a loaf of bread, mind. But they got me, and says as I done it before. I'm a gonna. It is therefore ordered and adjudged by this court that you be transported beyond the seas to such a place as His Majesty, by the advice of his privy council, shall think fit to direct and appoint for the term of seven years. I hereby sentence you to transportation to Botany Bay. You must achieve freedom. It may appear in many forms. Beware of disease, corruption, and greed. You'll need spirit, or you'll surely not survive. Oh, cheer up, me lad. Things could be worse. One of my mates got sent to a hulk for two years, cause there's no room in the prisons. We'll be sailing soon enough. Bound to be plenty of chances to get off this hell hole. You stick by me, I'll seize you right. That ain't so bad, boy. There's always tricks to get you by, and I don't mind passing them on. Leave me alone! I've done much worse than you. <laughs> they don't call me bruiser for nothing. <laughs> My name's Ferret. They call me that because I always know what's going on, see? Leave me alone! Here. I've been thinking, lad. You and me could have a real good time. Here. Watch this. You going to try picking Sid's pocket? <laughs> We won't be here too long anyways, you and me. We'll be gone before we set sail for Botany Bay. It's all in the timing. <coughs> Leave me alone. We won't be here. See, some of them guards are real easy to bribe. Makes life a whole lot easier. <laughs> Want some advice? Keep your ear to the ground. Don't make trouble. And keep your distance from that one. I'll bruise or get you killed before you know it. Get up, you swill! Time to work! You, road work. Uh, you, hauling coal. You, um, dredging the river. And you, dockside. You deserves an hanging! Curse you, blackguards! I said get a move on! Blacken your face like me if you don't want your family ashamed. Blacken Have you got a penny? I'll take a message to your family. <laughs> Ta son, I'll see your mother gets your message. Scumbags! Rogues! Scoundrels! 
penny for a kiss, me like You deserves an hanging! Scumbags! Run. Back to the Hulk! Help me! Help me! No! Oh, 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 oh. All day, every day, for five months, you toiled. <sighs> Keep your distance from old Sid, boy. Looks real sick. Whatever he's got will be the death of us if we ain't careful. No sense bothering about him. If your time's up, your time's up. Water! Give me w water! I'm done for! The typhus got me! I told you to keep away, you fool. Now you got typhus like old Sid. There's no hope now. Soon as he's dead, we'll pick his pockets again. <laughs> Oh, I wish we had some playing cards. Bible done him no good. We'll put it to good use. Bunch of rogues! We're off to Botany B! We're gonna make a run for it. Stick by me. Follow what I do, boy. We're... Here. Guards told me they're gonna take our stuff. So hide everything what's worth something. At least we're getting out of this cesspool. I don't want to leave England. I'll never see my family again. Ah, oh, shut up, you fool. Stick by me, and don't do nothing foolish. Convicts, come! What a drown a lot of you! Come on, look lively now! Now, jump! Here down there! Get him! Follow me! You can do it! Time up! Oh, you'll be sorry I tried that, boy. It's your turn next. <laughs> The first fleet has finally set sail for Botany Bay. Most are seasick, and the air is thick with foreboding. Will you ever see England again? What fate awaits you in the colonies? I'm glad they locked old Bruiser up elsewhere. He's nothing but trouble, him. I, for one, am glad to be leaving old England. Ain't never done nothing for me. Shouldn't have left me precious Ireland. I'll never see these shores again. At my age, I'll be lucky to even make it to the colonies. Oh, blimey. I wish this thing didn't rock so much. We don't feel so good. You're looking pale, boy. Better take care of them cuts on your back. Quite a flogging you took back there for one so young. You must stay out of trouble if you're to last the distance. Convicts, come! What a drown a lot of you! Oh, sorry, lad. That's no way to introduce myself. 
Call me Sam. Oh, blimey. You're looking pale. Come on now, all out on deck for your daily exercise. Take heart, all you poor souls. I'm God's humble servant, Reverend Smythe, here to watch over you on this piteous journey. Oh, I'm going to be sick again. Get a move on. Sure feels good to get them chains off. Problem is, I can't walk proper. Sells you vermin. Do you hear about the guard who shot himself in the foot? <laughs> If your game, come closer. It might pay to listen to Bruiser, lad. But you check with me before you do anything. Repent for your sins. Block your ears to them blighters. Ralph will show you the way. The Lord works in mysterious ways, my son. The trials of life are upon us. I'm innocent, wrongly judged. But the final judgment is the one that counts. Now go along with him and pay attention to detail. Then I'll show you a better way to make it worth your while. See, we take these ear buckles and such, and flatten them out with our drinking mugs. And then we pass them off as coins at the next port. <laughs> I got that guard, Jack, in me pocket. <laughs> he reckons there's lots in it for us. But don't let righteous Ralph see ya. But now, we'll dob to the guard. We'll get his trust and it'll pay off. But you got to make sure you got the right guard. Well, well, what news have we got for old Jack today? No trouble here, I trust. Well done, lad. I'll pass the information on to the authorities, and we'll see that those responsible are justly punished. Good work. Now he'll always trust you. It'll be worth it, you'll see. People talk too much. I'd rather spend my time with animals. I hope they give me a job with animals. Hey lad, amuse an old fellow. Let me read to you. It'll help pass the time. Would you like to know how to read and write? 
happy. I, I can teach you your letters. That could help when we get to Botany Bay. Like what I done, do you? Work with wood by trade. When I'm a free man, I'm going to build me a big house in Botany Bay. If you like, I can show you a few tricks how it's done. Uh, we mightn't have the tools, but you'll get the hang of it. So, if you attach the beams like this, the whole structure will stay together real strong. The faster ships with the best sailors and carpenters have been sent ahead by Captain Philip to Botany Bay. Great storms prevail. Fresh food is long gone and rations are seriously cut. Hunger has taken its toll. There's limited fresh water and morale is very low. Time is running out. But on reaching Botany Bay, Captain Philip deems it uninhabitable. He scouts for a more suitable landing site and a few days later returns with news of Port Jackson. As the fleet prepares to sail, it is met by two French ships entering the bay. Philip is alarmed. But the French are on an expedition of scientific exploration and the first fleet sails on to Port Jackson without event. Be still, Governor Philip will speak. If you do not work, you do not eat. Cattle duffers and chicken thieves will be hanged. Any prisoners who try to get into the women's tents will be shot. Work hard and you'll get your pardon. Place has got potential, kid. I like the weather. <laughs> Better than the blizzards back home. Ah, I got high hopes here. Could you give an old man a hand, son? You see, if we cooperate now, we'll get better jobs. You believe them, lad? We'll never be freed. Them French are still at Botany Bay. It ain't too far to walk. Let's get out of here. Uh, you lot, you set up the tents. Uh, you, you're responsible for the produce gardens. Uh, you join the construction team. And you all follow me. Choose a job and get to work, you lazy bunch. 
Choose a job! Building is the best job, but you're meant to have skills. See, I, I bribed a guard with some rum. Now everyone has to work, so you might as well get started. Don't stand around. Pick up the tools and get to work. Harder, I said. Don't stand around. Pick up the tools and get to work. You want to drink? Weasel, I'll show you not to mess with me. He's out. That's twenty lashes, boy. We don't tolerate fighting here. Choose a job and get to work, you lazy bunch. Heard you got some building skills, lad. Let's see what you can do. Gather round, you lowlifes, and see what happens when you mess with His Majesty's finest. Thomas Barrett, coin forger, thief, troublemaker through and through, will pay the ultimate price for his sins. As the sun sets on this day, he will dance upon the air and launch into eternity. Now let it be a lesson to all of you, scum! May God have mercy on your soul. Have to put a man off his dinner. Only four weeks. They've already started with the hangings. Bit stiff for just pilfering public store. See, lad? All those months on the ship, learning the trade, paid off. You've got one of the best jobs in the colony. Pa Pass me them roofing logs. No shirking round here. You get to work or I'll get to work with me whip. Get on with it. We want this building finished today. You've worked very well, and your diligence has been rewarded. You will now work on the docks with less supervision. It's a great privilege. See that you don't abuse it. Unload all this stuff into the sheds. Come on, move it. Keep unloading, lad. Don't say nothing to no one, and we'll make it worth your while. It's a big country, but we'll remember who our friends are. Oi! It's a flogging for you! Choose 
Here's a job and get to work, you lazy bunch! Now follow them, and see that you work hard. Ah, lad. Now if you'd learned your letters on the ship, you could have tried for a better job. Gotta get out of here, lad. You with me. I ain't going alone. Follow me, quick! Pick up those tools, boy, and get to work. No talking, no! Never much fancied hard work. Wonder if there's any guard here what I could bribe. Come on, lad, pick up the tools, get to work. No talking, no! Come on, lad, pick up... Harder, I said. Fifty lashes if you don't pick up your piece! job and get to work, you lazy bunch! Choose a job and get to work, you lazy bunch! Now everyone has to work, so you might as well get started. Don't stand around. Pick up the tools and get to work. You want a drink? <sighs> Get up there, you scoundrels! That's a flogging for both of you! Well done, son. Choose a job and get to work, you lazy bunch! You'll soon get sick of the same job. Try something else. Heard you got some building skills, lad. Let's see what you can do. Your work has made a favourable impression on your record, and you're getting closer to pardon. You will now be sent to the government farm. Show some initiative, son, and you'll be a free man. <whistles> this is your big chance to prove yourself. Learn all you can and you'll go far. This is your big... <laughs> Feed and water those animals, and make sure no harm comes to them. I'm so glad to see you. See, they don't treat the animals right. Go find the eggs. Ah! 
uh, feed those animals and, and see that you give them Hey, you're foreman material. Till that earth and plant seed, you'll be rewarded for a good crop. Till that earth and plant seed, you'll be rewarded for a good crop. Hey, you're foreman material. Make sure you keep those blighters working. Make sure you keep those blighters working. Well done, you've proven yourself beyond doubt. With your conditional pardon, you have been selected to run the first convict experimental farm. And if the farm succeeds, you will be granted a full pardon. Good luck. Spurred on by the promise of freedom, you work harder than you've ever done in your life. Primrose Farm becomes a thriving success, far beyond the expectations of Governor Philip and his officers. Congratulations. You are this day granted a full pardon by the Governor of the Colony of New South Wales. You will continue to live and work at Primrose Farm as your very own. November 21st, 1789. As an experiment in self-sufficiency, time-expired convict James Ruse was established on a farm at Rose Hill. February 22, 1791. James Ruse declared himself, his wife and child, self-supporting and withdrew from the public ration system. The 30-acre farm at Rose Hill became his own. James Ruse was the first convict to be granted land in the colony of New South Wales. <laughs>